Just out of curiosity, do you use lubrication when you're out camping in your RV? Well, if you don't, watch this. Hiyo, I am Jason with Imagine Your Odyssey, where I bring you tips and reviews and advice based off of my experiences in my RV. And with my experiences, I know that I want to keep things lubricated. That means different items on my RV in the camping season that I want to keep well lubricated so that they don't wear out and they stay healthy and good. Now with that being said, there are seven different things that I like to keep lubricated all the time. Three of them are on the inside of the RV, and four of them are on the outside of the RV. Now, I got different products like this right here that we'll talk about because each of them serve a different purpose. So let's go ahead and get talking about what things on the inside of the RV that I like to look out for. Before we begin, i like to remind everybody that these products that I'm getting ready to show, I am not sponsored by them whatsoever. I have tested and used them and they work perfect for us. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, click on the subscribe button, give us a good old thumbs up and leave some comments down below. Now back on topic about lubrication. So the first thing that we do is window lubrication. We use this right here. This is a lubrication made by 3-in-1. Now, when we go through all these lubrications that we use, they're all 3-in-1, and we get them all from Walmart or order them off of Amazon. If you're so interested, I'll leave a link to all these down below. Now, the window track lubrication we put on the windows because the little tracks that the windows slide open and slide closed on, those can get sticky and it makes it really hard for the window to open and to close. So we keep those lubricated. Another thing that this lubrication is good for is for the tracks that your curtains run on. Now for ours, we have two bunk beds and they have curtains that the kids can close and those run on little tracks as well. So we use this lubrication for that as well. And for the last thing inside the RV, we keep lubricated the curtain that goes to our shower. Now some of you may have shower doors and you can use this for the same thing, but we have a curtain in ours and there's a little track for that as well. And we keep that lubricated with the same lubrication. Now the next thing that we do is on the outside and the inside of the RV, and that is the hinges to the doors going out of the RV or coming back in. The reason that we do that is if we don't keep them lubricated, and I don't know about you out there, but ours start to squeak like crazy. So we use this right here, which is slide out silicone lubrication. Now we'll get back to talking about the actual title of itself. It says slide out lubrication. We got that coming right up in just a second but we use it on the hinges because it's silicone. It gets inside the hinge and keeps it lubricated and ours are friction hinges so that when it opens and closes, the wind doesn't catch it and just slam it open. So by that, we put this in there, the friction hinges still work right and they don't squeak. We put a little bit of lubrication on the inside and on the outside of the hinge to keep it from squeaking on us. Now to talk about the actual title on the lubrication bottle itself. It says slide out silicone lube. What we actually use this for is for our Schwintex slide out system. The reason that we use it here is to keep the track system working well, to keep it lubricated as it moves in and out. Now, a lot of you may or may not have Swintech slide outs. You may have the little slide out mechanism that has the bar up underneath, or you may have cables, but you can use this lubrication for the same thing. And then the next item on the list is the seals themselves, the seals on the RV's slide out. So we use this right here, which is rubber seal conditioner. What we do with this is we spray it on the seals on the outside, and then I'll bring my slide out in and I'll put a little bit on the inside as well. That keeps the rubber in good condition. Also, this seal lubrication has UV protectant in it. So as the sunbeams are beating down and trying to wear out your seals, it'll help keep them protected. Now we have a travel trailer. So that means the last thing on our list would be for the ball and the hitch itself. Now, what we use there is this right here, which is called waterproof green grease. Now, the reason I like to use this is because it is waterproof and it's a synthetic grease. 
Now what I do is I'll put a little bit of the grease on the ball and up inside the hitch and when we connect it keeps everything working perfectly. When I want to connect or disconnect I don't have any issues there and as I'm going down the road and I'm making turns it's a whole lot quieter and a whole lot smoother and it's not wearing out the ball and it's not wearing out the hitch as fast. Also if you have any other areas that you keep lubricated while you're out on your trips please leave those down in the comments below. Also, whatever you use for grease or oil lubrication, whatever you use while you're out camping in your RV, leave those down in the comments below so that we can see and learn from you as well. So until the next time, keep everything lubricated, enjoy your RV trips, and God bless.